So first things first, pop the hood. Open the hood. So to access the uh, bolts from the top of the suspension of the front, we need to get in this space here. And if you don't mind working in that little tight spot, then go for it. But it'll be it's best and smart that we remove the cowl. And this is the cow here. So first thing we need to do is pop this cover off and remove this windshield wiper, the driver's side. And then pop this cover off and remove these two bolts or nut to remove the windshield wiper on the passenger side. And then that way we can take the, this cover, the cowl off so we can access both side and replace the suspension so we'll do that first so on the cowl uh, so to remove anything you have to take this cover off and there will be a nut under it there's a clip right here on the cowl and then you got the passengers side uh, windshield wiper you have to remove that nut and that nut that will remove that and then you have another clip here and then it should pop up so this is a 14 millimeter bolt here so we'll go ahead and release that So that will grant us to take the windshield wiper off. Looks like this windshield wiper fell apart here. might need a tool to kind of pry it up. Next, we're going to remove these two here. And that's two. And then you should be able to just lift them up. Like that. Make sure you put, you keep all the nuts and bolts to the part that you remove. Keep in mind, this is this cow is separated in two parts, uh, driver side and passenger side. Uh, there's going to be a uh, rubber uh, seal for the under the hood. Uh, it's clipped on, so you can actually pinch it from the bottom and it'll pop up. Or you can use a needle nose. And when I say pinch, this is what the little clips look like. And you can just pinch and 
remove it from the hole. And then you can see. When you raise it up, the clip at the end will pop out. And then it's clipped on at the bottom. And that's basically it, just raise it up. When I say clip, there's this clip you see right here that's at the bottom. I think there's actually, there's supposed to be four, but a few of them already broke, like that one just fell off. But that's the cowl on the driver's side. And since while we're in here, I guess we'll be nice enough and vacuum all the, the debris, like leaves and whatever underneath these, underneath the cow. But now that we removed this cow, you can actually access this a little better. Uh, you can actually remove this whole frame, but I don't. I don't think I see the need for that, but we'll play it by ear with that part. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the cowl on this passenger side. Same thing, just kind of pull it up and then it should pop up. There you have it. We remove the cowl. And uh, as you can see, when you remove the cowl, you can actually access the window window wiper motor and the uh, the actual control arm. So if you ever need to replace the windshield wiper, that's how you do it. That's how you access it. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of debris. And uh, we can actually remove these, raise it up, and access those bolts underneath. So first, I'm going to go ahead and do the passenger side. Now we're going to jack up the vehicle. Make sure you can use a jack stand. Vehicle is jacked up. Now we're gonna remove the wheel. If there is a key on your lug nuts, make sure you ask. Make sure you uh, uh, ask the customer, or make sure you have the key. Here is the key for the lug nut. The lug nut size for this Prius is a 21 millimeter So here's the uh, suspension on the front, on the passenger side. So what we need to do is, one, we got to unbolt this, and it looks like a 12 millimeter that will um, separate this cable to the knuckle and the suspension. Next. We're going to remove the bolts and nuts that's connecting the knuckle to the suspension. And then on top of that, right here is the, um, 
is the linkage that connects to the sway bar to the suspension so we need to remove that and then once we remove all this from this bottom side then we can go on the top and remove the three bolts I mean three nuts on top and then it will actually drop and remove the suspension so we're gonna do that now so we're gonna remove this bolt and that's gonna be a 12 millimeter and that's gonna release the um, brake line and the ABS speed sensor line brake line ABS now we're gonna remove that and that's gonna be a 17 millimeter sometimes this can this this can be tedious to remove So as you can see, it spins. So what we're gonna need to do is get a wrench and a, um, we'll find out what fits in that. Maybe a T, T something, but we'll figure it out. So we're gonna have to use a 17 millimeter wrench with a socket head and a CRV six millimeter the center and we're gonna have to break it loose that way so it doesn't turn because if you if you don't do it this way it's 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 just gonna spin and it's annoying oh also keep in mind if you have brake cleaner it's, it's always good to spray this area down if you want a clean area to work at so there's there's the nut there and once we loosen this up that linkage will pop out or you can get a rubber mallet and just kind of pop it out right now just for your demonstration I'll go ahead and do that so now to remove these two nuts and bolts the suspension from the knuckle uh, it's gonna be a 19 millimeter on both sides so I put a wrench on one side and I'm gonna do the impact on the other side And there's the nut. That's the two nut. And here's the bolt. There you are. So now you can pull the knuckle away from the suspension and now it's just hanging. So what we're going to need to do is now, and see how, how loose it is, uh, now we're going to go from the top and release those three uh, bolts or nuts and then this will just drop. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these bolts here. And it's going to be a 10 millimeter and there's three of them and uh, hopefully I can just bend this back to access those nuts. So again, these are going to be 10 millimeters. That's one. Two. I don't think I have to remove this one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Three. So what I went ahead and did, and it's really not that much of a job, or much more of a job, is I went ahead and unbolted one, two, 
three, four, five. And we're, go we're gonna move this windshield motor out of the way. And then underneath you got one, two, three, four uh, bolts for this cover. And actually break it loose here and remove it there. And now you can actually access the top bolts for the suspension a lot easier. So I would recommend taking, it just takes a few minutes to remove it. Next step is to remove those three bolts or nut and you're going to use a 12 millimeter. And you can just break them loose or you can use the impact. So I'm not going to use the impact, I'm just going to use my socket wrench because since everything is loose down there, we want to remove it slowly so it just doesn't just fall on your foot. And it's not that tight where you will need the impact. Like I said, there's only three. Break them loose. And it'll, it'll break loose enough where you can actually turn by hand. That's two. And then we got this last one. Now, if you hear a clunk, that means it just dropped, okay? And what we can do is I can, I can hold it by underneath by hand and loosen that up. And now it's loose. So now that we loosen everything, we can actually grab the suspension and pull it out. And this is going to be the same concept for the driver's side. The passenger and driver's side is going to be the same thing, except opposite side. So I'm not going to make a video on both sides. So I'm just going to do one side and you get the concept of doing the other side. So there you have it. So what you're going to need to do next when you uh, remove the part is you need to always put the parts side by side and make sure everything matches and is the same size and all the harnesses and clips are on the side that it needs to be like where that ABS and brake line connects to. Because the, the passenger side and the driver's side is going to be different because those harness and clips that I just showed you where the brake line and ABS sensor wire connects to is going to be on complete opposite side. This is the driver's side, so it's going to be on the opposite side. So you can't put these, they don't go on um, you can't put them on either side you ha it has to be on one side all right so make sure if you order the parts if you're just doing one side you, you order the correct side all right so let's install the new one So this is where it's going to get tricky. Usually you need two people to do this, but uh, I don't have a second hand. Well, I have a second hand, but I don't have a second person. So I'm going to, once you raise this up, you have to hold it with one 
can and then go over the fender and start bolting the uh, the nuts onto this so it can hold up once you know once you get one started then you can then it, it it's all it's all smooth sailing from there but uh here we go So to get this aligned, of course you have to spin it and get it through these holes. And they fit a certain way. And that looks like it'll fit like that. And I sound like I'm struggling because I have to hold this hold this up while bolting this on. Alright. Once that is in, then uh, you can actually tighten this up on the top. Now the new suspension comes with new bolts you can use the new bolts or you can use the old one let's see if the old one will fit the old one will fit for me i would i'd rather use the original bolts so i'm gonna slowly switch them out because the uh the original bolts are actually thicker, as you can see, while the new bolts are just, I mean nut bolts, I mean nuts. The new nuts are the basic ones. That's it for the top part. Now let's install everything else from the bottom. All right, so first things first, we'll go ahead and put these bolts to connect the knuckles to the suspension. And right now I have the bolts and nuts, the suspension connected to the knuckle. Remember both sides is a 19 millimeter. Now keep keep note that when people uh, uh, align this vehicle on the Prius this is where they're gonna align uh, the wheel okay um, that way it doesn't the tire doesn't rub against the suspension so this is one spot that they're, they're gonna 
uh, and used to align the wheel. Uh, so keep in mind, there's a, there's a special uh, bolt that goes in here that actually turns that will align the, uh, the, uh, the vehicle, the suspension and the wheel. So once you get this out there to an alignment place, they may, they may charge you more because that is needed. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and install all this. So this goes right here, and that goes there, and then it's a 12 millimeter bolt that screws into there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Then make sure the line is not pinched or twisted or whatnot because that would be a bad thing. And then, last but not least, we're gonna connect the linkage. All right, so for the linkage to line up and connect, we're gonna have to actually race this suspension up so we're gonna have to jack it up with another jack and then have get it even with this and then put it on so hopefully you'll have an extra jack handy because once you raise it up to that even level you can Get that linkage in like that and then put the bolt on there and remember what we did to take it off we're going to need to do the same thing so it's going to be a 17 millimeter wrench with a uh, CRV six millimeter. That's how you get the linkage on. And then you can release the uh, extra jack and it will lower the suspension. And that's pretty much it. The suspension is now in, the new one. The linkage is connected. All the uh, hose and line is connected. The, um, the bolts and nuts is connecting the suspension to the knuckle we need to torque that down uh, and i think uh, the specs was like 48 foot pound to torque the suspension to the knuckle down uh, i'll do that in a minute but besides that that's how easy it is and then the same way we did this passenger side is the same thing you're going to do to driver's side very quick and simple especially if you have the whole assembly already together now if you don't have this assembly where you have the uh, the, the shocks and the spring you're gonna have to have a, more tools where you 
you know, press the spring and then uh, put it on the shocks and then release the spring. So if the customer is okay with re replacing the whole thing, I would do it that way. Uh, but if they, you know, a lot of times you want to go the cheapest route, spend less money on parts, then you would have to go that route. All right. Uh, now from here, we put the wheels back on and lower the vehicle and you're good to go. All right, after replacing the uh, suspension on both driver's side and passenger side, we're gonna put this cover back in. And there's gonna be a total of six 10 millimeter bolts. We'll go ahead and hand tighten each one of them first. Actually, there's a total of seven. I said six, but there's actually seven for this cover. There's so much debris, I didn't clean it completely off that it fills into where the, uh, the, the bolts go in and it's hard to put them in. Once you got them all in, then just, just bolt them down. 10 millimeter again. After that, what you're going to need to do is put the windshield wiper assembly back on. And that's held by five bolts. Two on each end and then one in the middle. Again, it's always good to hand tight it first before tightening it down. And that's, these will also be a 10 millimeter.
then these are bolted by uh, there's uh, bushings in between for vibrations. We'll go ahead and clean this windshield area. So now we'll put the cow back on. Isn't that just a ridiculous name for this cow? It doesn't go move. <laughs> Remember there, uh, there's clips at the bottom where it should snap in. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of them are can be bent or broken. Okay, now we're gonna put the other cow on. Now also keep this in mind, you're gonna have to take the driver's side cow off first because it lays on top. You can't take the driver's side, uh, the passenger side off first and then the driver's side because this one lays on top of the passenger cow. And then if you still have these clips that go in the end, put them in. A lot of times they break. And if you have replacement, go ahead and replace them. And then this snaps back on. All right, next we're going to get the windshield wiper. First we put the passenger side on and um, they just sit on top like this. And then we put the bolt on. And they're 14 millimeters. And 
now we're gonna put the driver's side on. And that is also a 14 millimeter. And then next you want to put this cover back on and that just snaps on and that's how you put the uh, cow back on and the windshield wiper motor and assembly and wiper back on put the wheel on Put the lug nuts on. Lower the vehicle. And torque the wheel the lug nuts down to 18 foot pound and you're good to go. If this video was helpful, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. There will be more videos in the future, posting every week. So please watch, learn, and uh, keep me updated if there's anything that you wanna see done. Thank you. After putting everything back together, and test driving it. It drives real smooth. Perfect.